So I've grinded the last few months and managed to get every sword, gun, and accessory in Bloxford to 100% complete my inventory. And I've put it all into one video so you can see the struggle of completing Bloxfruits. And we're starting with Bloxfruits has 36 different swords in the game. And I'm going to unlock and master every single one of them in only 24 hours. And our very long journey starts here in the first seat, where we come over to the sword dealer and we purchase this katana, which I conveniently already have and already have all the mastery for. And that took barely any time at all, which means we can cross this one off. Psych! We're also going to be getting this little star thing next to every single one of these. And this is basically just an upgraded version to make it do a bit more damage. So this is going to cost literal thousands of materials to get all of these. So we got to start small. There we go. Upgraded katana does 30% more damage, which means we can actually cross this one off the list. I already know that you're going to be robbing me of everything I own. So for the next sword we're working on, we're also heading back to the star island because right next to the katana is the cutlass. And I also happen to have this completely leveled up as as well. Mastery 250, in fact. I don't know why I did this. But if we head back to Pirate Village, what is it going to cost this time to upgrade this thing? What do we need? Leather and wings. And I have zero out of five for both of them. So I think the smartest play is going to be to just farm a bunch of these because we're going to need hundreds. And then we can make a massive dent in as many swords as possible. By the way, these are meant to be common material. I got scrap metal twice and no leather. Please, just drop one. No. Just what? Whoa, we finally got one. <laughs> That's how rough this is going to be. Okay, so I guess we should just work on getting some leather. And after an hour of my life that I'm never going to get back, I now have 99 pieces of leather. <laughs> now I need to go waste another hour getting like all these wings. I'm not even sure where I need to go to get the wings. It seems like I need to head to basically upper sky and any of the mobs in upper sky will drop it. Okay, what mob is the best to grind for this? These guys also take ages, but they did drop a wing. Maybe if I go Buddha mode, it might be easier to get them. It's at the Whisper, this boss right here has a chance to drop the wings as well, which would be huge. And he dropped nothing. What about things in just regular sky? Do these guys drop anything? Oh, this is gonna be real rough. I'm investing for the future. I don't know how many angel wings I've got. I just know it's, yeah, it's nine. I'm gonna try and get like 100 of these or at least 50, but I'm gonna get enough so I don't have to get more. Like, this bingo board of hell has only one of them ticked off. We haven't even got to, like, the rares, the uncommons, the legendaries, the mythical stuff. So now we just got to spend the next 30 minutes punching Royal Squad soldiers, and we should be good. Honestly, really might not be good. It might take longer than 30 minutes. One hour later. I've spent so much time grinding. I've got 53. So, you know, we'll leave it at that. But after so long, we can finally talk to the Blacksmith Cutlass Upgrade. That is another common weapon completely finished. The Dual Katana is the next sword we're doing and once again i've got all the mastery on it somehow please be an easy upgrade yes okay just those items there we go another one we are steamrolling through this all the commons complete now we move on to the uncommon weapons and surprisingly we can get a couple of them here the dual katana which we already have but then we can also get the iron mace which is 25k this thing has a couple of moves which i've luckily also managed to already get but the true question is is can i upgrade this because besides getting to the rarer swords uncommon sword grade one just wings and leather you absolutely love to see that there we go. Our next sword ticked off. Now, a little while ago, yep, the saw has spawned in the game. If I head back to Middletown and defeat the saw, then we have a chance of getting the next sword. I hope I get this drop, or else I'm gonna have to wait for another sword to spawn. Drop me the goods, please. Killer combo, mace smash. Wow, we got nothing. Okay, now I gotta wait again. Yes, item drop shark saw. It didn't take too long. Use this uncommon sword, which looks deadly, in fact. We need 60 mastery to get all of its moves. If we head to Fountain and defeat the strongest boss in the first sea, I think we should get enough mastery. Here it goes. Cyborg, you're going down. All right, show me the mastery. 60 levels, easy. We got the first move. There we go, the second move. Ooh, that could have been bad. Now it's time for the scary bit. What is this sword gonna cost to upgrade? Hello, blacksmith. What's it gonna cost? Yeah, Just leather? Boy. There we go. Shark saw upgraded, which means we can cross off this one. Next up, we're gonna do the triple katana. If we head to the frozen village and then find the sword dealer of the east and talk to him, he will sell us the triple katana and the pipe. Luckily, I've already bought both of these and I've actually already leveled up the sword before, which means we should be able to once again and just come back to the blacksmith and super easily level up both of these. Just leather and metal scraps, I think. Craft. That's number six. And also the pipe, which is a rare sword. And luckily, I'm so glad I've leveled up some of these swords in the past because now I need fishtails to do that.
that. Right, we're off to the underwater. <laughs> we need 12, and it is an uncommon material, so they don't drop too often. So I guess if I just keep on fighting them, maybe we get like two in a row. Oh, there's one. We're going to be here for a little while, but this is going to be worth it. You know, we're getting our first rare sword completely enhanced. I've done so much grinding, and I finally got 11 fishtails. So I just need one more, which I'm going to get right here. Never mind, I'm going to get it right here. Just give me the fishtail. I want to leave this underwater area. Yes. Hello, Mr. Scammer. I am back. Upgrade the pipe. Oop. We've got a plus 25% damage pipe now. This is going to do insane amounts of damage. Boom. Boom. Now we're getting into some of the more crazy stuff because the next sword is on the volcano and it's inside this wall. Yep. Living skeleton. How spooky. He actually gives us the soul cane. And I've used this before in a video. Like I've got 228 mastery, which is huge. But because this is a rare sword, this is probably going to be pretty expensive to upgrade. So if it's just leather and angel wings, I'm going to be so happy. Just angel wings. Just angel wings. Just angel wings. What is even that thing? Radioactive material? Bro, who even drops those? It turns out the radioactive material drops from this nerd emoji looking guy over here. So we need to head to the second sea. And luckily it's only two. Like, how hard can that be, right? Only getting two of these? Ah, this is gonna be pain. Nothing so far. If I could get it fast, I'd be so happy. Where did these guys even spawn? What are these spawn located? All the way over there? I finally got one. Uncommon, by the way. It's the same rarity as fishtails, but it just feels like it drops so much less. Bro, there is an all out war going on. Yo, don't mind me. I'm just grinding for my radioactive materials. <laughs> what is this chase going on? Now, I'm just gonna vibe. Hopefully, they don't come back, but we've got a safety precaution on. You know, if we've got this pale scarf on, maybe they'll be like, ah, yes. This guy is a pro at blood so Let's not fight him. Oh, finally. Wait, did I get it? I'm not hallucinating, right? Yeah, five. Oh, who are you? Why are you doing this? What? Oh, I was admiring my cool radioactive materials, and I just got attacked. There was no reason for that. Right, I'm off to go do some crafting. Soul came. Level one. There's 20% more damage now, which means, where is the soul cane? Ah, there it is. While we're here, we might as well try and get the sword that this diamond guy drops. There's a 10% chance, so it is kind of rare. Hopefully, I get it first try. Where did he go? There he is. Soul beam. We did not get it first try. Luckily, there's also a boss we can try and get to get another sword, which is on lava. Yes, smoke admiral. All right, give me the goods. And we got nothing. You really think I didn't have backup plan number three? <laughs> if we head to the skull island, there is another boss we can take down to have a chance of getting another sword. All right, full speed ahead. Why does he have so much health? He's actually got the trident in his hands right now, so I hope that he drops it. Drop the goods, drop the goods. He also dropped nothing. Right, I'm all out of plan Bs. Is what you thought. Oh, the leopard guy's back. That's cool, tree. That's cool, tree. This guy over here, we can take his gravity cane. As long as I'm not being hunted down by the leopard guy, I'm vibing. Like, I don't care if you can't walk without it. I need it. Please drop. Please drop. No, he dropped meteorite. These swords are so hard to get in the second sea. All right, instead, we're gonna head back to the first sea because there are still a lot of swords in the first sea that we need to do. Now, what I actually forgot to do while I was in the upper sky was talk to this master sword dealer who sells a dual headed blade for 400k and also Bicento for 1 million. And I luckily already have both of these, but I don't have the dual headed blade all the way leveled up. And this needs 100 mastery. You know what? 100 mastery is actually kind of a lot. So we're actually gonna head back to the second sea to grind bosses. You know, maybe then we can get like the other swords while grinding for this sword. Maximum efficiency. First boss diamond is not home. Why are you here? I'm just trying to check if smoker exists. I'm being attacked. Bro, I will end you. I've got my dual headed blade, bro. You don't want to do this. I'm a left click demon. You've picked the wrong guy. Okay, maybe he hasn't picked the wrong guy. Oh no. Oh, I got folded. You know, who needs PvP anyway? I just want to get my sword leveled up. That's all. I got my first move called Assassinate. Where'd he go? Now that I've got my new moves, he ran away. Twin headed blade. Can we upgrade this? We need 12 fish tails again. And just to double check as well, we'll check the Sento because maybe we need magma ore. So no matter what, we just got to go back to the first seed to upgrade both of these. Not that I've wiped out every single fish underneath the ocean. I think I have enough fish tails. Yeah, we got 15. I went above and beyond, which means I think we should be able to upgrade this sword. But it's not the right thing. There we go. This is the soul we can upgrade. 2400 damage now. But even better than the damage, we can do this. That's what I've been waiting to do. But next, if we want to get the Bicento all the way leveled up, I think it was eight magma ore we needed. Yeah, we need eight magma ore. Now we go to Volcano. I think this has got to be one of the rarest materials in all of Blocks Roots because I never get this. There we go. There's the first one. Now I gotta wait like 15 minutes to get number two. And there we go. There's the final magma ore. That's 10. Blacksmith, can I upgrade this? Yes, I can. This will give us plus 25 
25% bonus damage on this sword that already does tons of damage. What does our Quake Sphere do now? Too much. Basic left clicks. 3,122. And that's also our first legendary weapon completely ticked off. This hellish bingo board is starting to fill out a bit nicer now. We've still got an insane amount more to go though. Oh, and before I forget actually, I've already done the True Triple Katana, the Hollow Scythe, and the Dark Blade. So we can do Dark Blade, True Triple Katana, and Hollow Scythe, which is arguably three of the most difficult ones to do. So I'm super happy that we got that one sorted. We've really not got many swords left from the first C, but there is one right here. If we can kill the Fishman Lord, he can drop... Yep, there we go, the Trident, which I happen to have never used before. So I've got zero mastery, and we need 125. Okay, we're off to the second C. I'm not even messing around anymore. Okay, Diamond, I'm here to defeat you to not only get your sword, but get a bunch of mastery. Please. Okay, no sword, but that's easily getting us our first move. Trident throw. Okay, Fajita, show me the goods. You're over there? Nope. Now you're over here. <laughs> that's so cool. It does tons of damage as well. No sword, but 100 mastery. Smoker, give me a ton of mastery as well. Boom, there we go. We can use our new move called Water Pulse. I am back, Blacksmith. What are you gonna charge me for this one? 12 magma ore again? I'm sick and tired of fighting enemies on Volcano. I want a change of pace until we get at least one of the swords. That's all that I need. Then I'll have the motivation to go get magma ores. We got nothing good from our first boss. Nothing. Also nothing. Nothing again. Found a key, but no sword. But I finally got the long sword as a drop, which is a rare sword. But now that I've got that, we can head back to the first sea and get the magma ore that we need to upgrade this trident. I have done way too much grinding here. I'm investing for the future, you know? 51 magma ores. No physical way I need more than that. That's too many. There we go. Plus 25% damage. Now we're here for big boy numbers. There we go. Now they're in the second sea. We should probably level up this long sword and get all of these moves, which we will go and fight every boss we can if they are even spawned in. There's two Buddha fruits boss rushing all the way over there. So instead, we're off to the third C, which will probably be the smarter play in the long run because we do need 200 mastery. Swordsman versus longsword. Let's do this. Ow. Okay, relax, Ligma. Ligma does not mess around. I'm actually gonna die. Please, please, please die, Ligma. Die. Yes! 2.8 million mastery. At the very least, we're getting Annihilate. Glorious smash, though. I don't think we're gonna get that. Let's try out this new move. Annihilate. Yeah, it kind of just goes everywhere. Pretty cool looking attack. Yes, Cake Queen. What is going on in here? Don't mind me, guys. I'm just here to get some damage. Ow. Yo, he's definitely not aiming at Cake Queen. Bruh! Do you really want to be done like that? Because I will do you like that. Annihilate! That's right. That's my brand new move. I'm to I'm literally gonna die. Alright, at least now I don't need to worry about getting PvP'd. I can just walk over here and attack the Cake Queen. And there we go. We're already a mastery 183. There we go. We finally got it. Well, now that we've leveled up this long sword, let's hope that the third C blacksmith gives us like a discount or something. Are you 10 of those? What sick developer came up with that idea? First kill, we actually got one? Yeah, this is gonna be a long day. I can't believe this random, goofy-looking medieval sword has one of the most annoying requirements to get it upgraded. Bro, who is this guy? He's trying to fight the lab staff. I promise you, bro, you do not want to do this. You do not- Oh, he's got Blizzard. That's not fun. All right, we're awakening. I'm trying to grind and he's interrupting me. It's like this long sword attack. Oh, he's awakened as well? You know, I'm just gonna ignore this guy. He's not even really a threat. I'm just gonna keep on grinding. This is really not easy. I finally have 10 of these. But now I think the long sword is gonna be ticked off. Yup. Boom. Long sword grade one. There goes the long sword. At the moment, I am seeing way too much pink. In fact, that's so many legendary weapons. That's unbelievable. I think I can actually get three of them completely awakened right now. And that's the three swords of the true triple katana. So if I come over here and talk to the blacksmith, can you upgrade my sadi? Yes, I can. Which means, boom, boom. Next up, we have got Shisui, which, there we go. Another legendary done. Now, I think I'm out of leather again. No way, bro. I need three leather. Moments later. A decent amount of leather grinding later, and I think... Yep. Wando. Easy upgrade. I say easy, but that took like 15 minutes. A little while ago, when I awakened the rumble fruits, I also happened to level up the pole all the way to max. I need 10 more of those again. Okay, you know what? I think it'll be my best interest to just grind like 20 of these things, and then I can invest them for the future. I'm just trying to... Gr Why does everybody try and attack you when you grind this area? It's actually crazy, bro. Well, I guess this is my life now. I just gotta destroy these guys real quick. Okay, I need one more radioactive material. But I did happen to get Smoker's weapon, which need 300 mastery? Are you joking? Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna go use this on the factory stuff to hopefully get, like, a little bit of XP going while I try and get this last item that I need. And there we go. We got the final material. Been able to completely upgrade this one. And while doing some research, other than the Pole V1, there is another weapon, and it's actually the Saber. This weapon right here surprisingly needs that radioactive material. I need five more of whatever that is, and then we can get Saber as well. But there goes another legendary off the list. And this is Saber, completely upgraded, which is yet another legendary sword. But instead of focusing on the legendary swords, we should try
try and level up Smoker's weapon all the way to max. So I think this item here is something called a mini tusk, no, which is found no, in the third no. seat. So I guess we should go and grind the remaining eight that we need, and then we can move on to the next sword. 15 minutes later. Hello, Mr. Scammer. I am back again. Wait, what? Yeah, I've got 15 mini tusks. Oh, why are these so similar? It's a vampire fang that I'm actually looking for, which means we gotta go back to the second seat. Time to make the vampires go extinct. I'm angry now. We got the first move, smoke barrage. Grinding just became a lot easier now. My grinding spot is never safe no matter where I am. You don't want me to put you down, Buddha boy. You're not ready for a smoke barrage. Yeah, that's right. That guy was a lot weaker than I thought he was. It took an unbelievable amount of grinding, but I think I've got the right material. Yep, there we go. Rare sword craft. That was way harder than it needed to be for a rare sword. This whole time, I've kind of ignored a sword from the first C because I didn't get lucky enough to get it the first time, so I'm gonna head back and go get it right now. And here is that said boss. That sword right there that he's holding right now is exactly what we're trying to get. Can I get it first try? No, I can't. I guess I gotta wait until the boss respawns again. There it is. The warden sword. Luckily, this thing only needs 80 mastery. And the way I'm holding this, actually, that's kind of sick. But now we need to get some mastery and also figure out what this thing needs to be upgraded. Well, getting that mastery was pretty easy. We've already got all the moves. But more importantly, I can do this. That's what I've been wanting to do. And while I'm in the second C, I think there was a sword I could get from this ship. Did I get this already? Yeah, hello again. Yes, midnight blade. This is what I was looking for. This blade is so cool looking. What's not cool looking about it, though, is how it needs 325 mastery. We're definitely going to the third C and grinding bosses there to get all this mastery. And there we go. We got the first move of the Midnight Blade. Portal opening. This just sounds OP. Does it do? Ooh, wait, what rarity is this sword? Ah, legendary. Makes sense. Yeah. Well, I guess now we just work on getting the rest of the mastery and then we can figure out what it needs to be upgraded. I've grinded so many bosses and I'm still only at 319. But to be smart, let's get the final bit of mastery on a boss that also has a weapon drop. And we got the drop. And we got the new move, Crescent Dash. But to upgrade this sword, let me guess, we're going to need like 75 dragon bones or something. 40 exoplasm and 50 metal scraps or something. Honestly, that's not awful to get. One hour later. So I did a little mining off camera and I have 99 leather. This might even be the max and 99 scrap metal. So any swords that want to be upgraded from now on, I got them. Never mind. I forgot about the ectoplasm. Okay, we got to head back to the second C and grind that material now. These guys usually have the best drop rates for this item. Yep, there we go. One ectoplasm already. These ectoplasms have been an absolute speed run. I think I literally need two more and there's the last one. So pretty much we can already go and upgrade this midnight blade because this is only pretty much the halfway point. The swords after this point are going to get way crazier. And while grinding mastery for the previous sword, we did get this other legendary sword, which also happens to need 300 mastery as well. So we need to go on a big boss hunting mission and try and get this 300 mastery as soon as possible. Oh yeah, we got a new skill, piercing dash. The left clicks of this sword might be absolutely terrible, but the moves, oh, the moves are clean. Piercing dash. Oh, with the cherry blossom leaf. Yeah, that's cool. And I'm doing this all with one hand behind my back. That's how like confident I am with this sword. There we go. Brand new move. Scattering gust. Let's try it out in like this straight up arena that I've got. Scattering dust. Oh, these moves are cool. So if we head to the blacksmith, what does he want to upgrade? Yes. I thought ahead of time and I got some of these dragon scales because I thought I'd need a ton of them. And I'm so glad I did because Cavender completely upgraded. There it is. Boom. Another one ticked off. Now I was a little scared to even look at the upgrade requirements of this sword before. Oh, so we need fishtails and we need mystic droplets to do this pole. Luckily, I've already got like both the moves of this pole v2. But now we need to go on a material grind. And in the blink of an eye, I have everything I need. That took so long. All of this for 8% damage. Boom. Another one, pole v2, completely gone. Now I think it's about time we finish off the uncommon and rare swords. To do that, we gotta head to the third C because there is a boss that has a drop. Actually, wait. Never mind. I've literally already used these things before. In fact, I've got 127 mastery on these things. I do need 300 to get a new move, which is not ideal. But we can finally finish uncommon. We're gonna use the twin hooks to defeat the guy with twin hooks. Our first move is called Sky Cyclone, which is literally this boss's exact move. I guess it means prehistoric punt is gonna be the uh, move he just used there, which auto tracks onto you. I hope mine does that. But it is really not easy to get 300 mastery over and over and over. And that is mastery 277. Not much more suffering to go. And there we go. That's mastery 300. Finally. I've been way more curious to see if this move is just the exact same. Which, <laughs> yes, it is. But now I need to head back and see what this is gonna cost to get upgraded. I can imagine it's gonna be pretty expensive, right? Wait, I actually have everything? What's 10% damage? Yes, sir. Twin hooks upgraded, which means we've finished every single uncommon. But to complete the entire row, we've got to fully upgrade the gravity cane. And luckily for me, a while ago, I did a video where I used the gravity fruit. And in that video, I completely leveled up the cane. So I don't need to get 250 levels to get this upgraded. But what's the blacksmith gonna take for this? Wait, why is this one of like the easiest 
ones to do so far. I was expecting it to be like a random material I've never seen before, but boom, gravity cane also upgraded, which means we have completed our first row. We have still got a lot more legendaries to go. Speaking of legendary, why don't we check what the Coco sword is going to take to upgrade? Because I have leveled this one up in the past. What is it going to take? I can surprisingly do this one as well. I'm being attacked. Just put this guy down real quick with my sword. Boom. That's Coco completely done. Some of these last ones, although are going to be pretty tough, I might already have a lot of the materials. Maybe. I'm not 100% sure. So I don't know when I crossed this warden sword off. I must have been hallucinating because uh, I completely forgot to actually upgrade this. I got the materials. So now it's technically complete. Now on this second row is a weapon called the Dragon Trident. And that only drops from a boss in the second C. Now comes the true question. Was I lucky enough to get this sword as a drop in the past? I hope I was. Oh, yes. I actually have it. And it's got 350 mastery. Are you kidding me? I don't even think the Hallow Scythe goes that high. Okay, the Hallow Scythe goes that high. And then let me guess. It's going to cost like an absolute arm and a leg to upgrade this. Okay, that's kind of expensive, but I have the materials. So we're going to work on grinding the levels for these. We unlock the first move called Sea Dragon Fury. I think this is just the exact same as the boss, right? Yes, yeah, the exact same as the boss. New skill available. Finally, what does it do? It's literally just a water orb. This means that I can finally come and check what the blacksmith wants. And there we go. Dragon Trident completely upgraded, which means we've completed two entire rows. And now we got the real hard stuff left. Just legendaries and a mythical. So let's start with my all-time favorite sword in this entire game, the Dark Dagger. What is this going to take to upgrade? You know what? That's not bad. Except, why is it only 10% damage? So we actually need to get Dragon Scales, which we can find on Hydra Arena. And they are, yeah, very rare to get. So this is probably going to take a while just to get four. And the Dark Dagger is... Yeah, I got all the materials. Nice. Legendary Sword Grade 1. For a legendary sword, that was surprisingly easy, which means we can cross it off and move on to the Spiky Trident. It would be really convenient if I had everything ready for this. But, oh, I'm not even close. I need eight conjured cocoa, which is a rare material, and five of the mystic droplets from the second sea. So we're going to head back to the second sea first and get the easier material, and then we'll come back and get the more difficult one. Oh, you love to see a drop from the first mob. I mean, then you see nothing for like 20 more after that, but maybe I get lucky. Please. Oh, oh, that's big. We've already got two. I might get some extra ones in case any of the final swords require these, because I don't want to have to come back here. I can get the spiky trident done, plus 9% damage. There we go. Another one ticked off. We honestly you might have some other easier ones, like the buddy sword. I've already leveled this one up for max before in the past, but can I upgrade it? Nope, we need eight conjured cocoa for the buddy sword. But we've got the other two materials, so that's good. And just in case, we're gonna check the Rengoku as well, another legendary sword that I've used in a video before, that I might have the materials for. Wait, I'm so close. Okay, if we go to the first C, we can quickly level up the Rengoku and upgrade that. I have been playing Box Roots now for so long. Uh, so we need one more Magma Ore, which I'm gonna get right here right now, Demon Slayer. Never mind this guy. There we go, the last Magma Ore we needed. And I think the other material we needed was scrap metal. Since we've only got 12 of these. So if I defeat some of these mobs, they should drop everything that I'm looking for. There we go, scrap metal. Now that I've got all the scrap metal, this sword can really quick and easily be upgraded. It's 8% damage and it costs all of that. I mean, I'm more happy to just be able to like take this off the list. But just four more to go. Bro, I'm trying to go to the third C and I'm being hunted down by people. Like, what is this? I don't even want to be here. You think I won't buddy sword you to death, bro? You ain't ready. This is so annoying. Oh wait, they're fighting each other. Now's my chance to make my escape. Wait, that guy is solo. He just stole my kill. I did all the effort there. Wait, I might just be able to leave. Bruh, he's back again. All right, I'm awakening. No more Mr. Nice Guy. And I'm in the ocean. That's cool. Five minutes later. It was such a journey to just get to this island to be able to get these items. And this is one of the rare materials, so I'm likely not going to see this for a long time. Do I have the item? Coco. Yep, I've got eight of them. Can you not? Why is this guy squaring up? Almost straight to the blacksmith. And I'm upgrading this buddy sword instantly. I don't want to have to look at this thing ever again. Boom, crap. Oh, that feels good. Now, all that is left is everything to do with the Cursed Old Katana. Now, it would be real nice if we could just like almost instantly level up one of these CDK, but I'm not sure what the requirements are. Why is it so cheap? This is quite possibly the cheapest legendary sword yet. Plus 8% damage, crap. Can I do Yammer as well? Hello, Blacksmith. No way. Two of the legendary swords I thought would be the hardest. It was just easy mode. There goes Tushita. There goes Yammer. One to go. And it's the hardest one yet. The Cursed Dual Katana. Imagine I just have everything. Oh, I was so close. I thought I had everything. We need to go and get seven mini tusks and 55 scrap metal. I really don't have long left to get all these items. I have been playing this game for many hours straight now. There's our first mini tusks. So it should be a pretty easy grind to get these.
10 mini tusks later. I think, yep, I got the first two sorted. Now we just need the scrap metal. All right, this is my life now. I am just going to exist on Pirate Village and annihilate everything so I can get these scrap metals. Bro, I'm being hunted down again. I will fight back with everything I have. Okay, right, no more Mr. Nice Guy. We're going Buddha form now. Where are they? They're down there. You guys think you're safe? Bro, this is life or death right now. I just want to upgrade this final sword. In fact, can I go and upgrade this right now? Get the damage boost. Hey, Blacksmith, upgrade my sword. Upgrade my sword. Craft. No! I think it's about time for some revenge. We get him revenge. Boom! That's one. Let the other one go. He ran away. He saw I'd upgraded my swords all the way and he ran. But with this, we have upgraded every single sword in Blocks Fruits. And it took me so long. I hope I never have to see this bingo board ever again. Did you know that Blocks Fruits has 13 ranged weapons in the game? Well, neither did I until I decided to master every single one in just 24 hours. And it all starts here in the first C. Because if we come over to this guy, the weapon dealer, he will give us our first gun, which is the slingshot. And I have already leveled this up and got all of its moves. Wow, doing all 13 of these is going to be so easy. Is what you thought. Because I'm also going to be trying to get this little star next to every single one. And it might seem like an easy thing, but this tiny star is going to take thousands oh of materials total for all of these. And all that it does is make it do a little bit more damage. And to get this little star thing, we've got to come to the pirate village. And we talk to this guy, the blacksmith. Hi there, I can upgrade your weapons. Let's take a look. Okay, upgrade my gun. Extremely cheap, but that's not going to be the case for all of them. So there's one. And with one off the list, that means we can pick off the slingshot. And the next weapon we're going to get is actually another weapon from this weapon stealer called the musket, which, yep, I've never used before. So this is going to be rough. It's an uncommon gun, and we only need 50 mastery to get all of its moves. So maybe we go for a little first seat. Who is this? You know what? <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> I'm just going to go and fight some bosses. Musket versus strongest boss in the first sea. Like, realistically, what's he going to do? What is with this shoot time? It takes so long. I've got to reload every single shot. Okay. All right. This is not easy mode. We're going first person for this. Wait. This doesn't even feel like block fruits at this point. It does a lot of damage. 2,000 damage per hit for a level one uncommon weapon. It's not good, but it's not bad. Okay. We need to get the high ground. There we go. We got the high ground. Can I, like, curve bullets down there? Hang on. Okay. You can't curve bullets underneath. I just hope that I get all 50 mastery in this one kill here. Please. Oh, that's easily enough. Yes. We got both of the moves. First move is called Dragon Bullet, which does an explosion. That's actually pretty cool. And then Bold Pistolero. <laughs> what does that mean? Bold Pistolero. <laughs> What? There's a gun that just creates a tornado. Wait, that's actually kind of cool. More importantly, we can head back to the blacksmith now. Hello, Mr. Blacksmith. I've made it. What do you need to upgrade this gun? It needs five fishtails, five leather, which I've luckily got enough of. And now that increases the damage even further. We do 2,600 now. That's actually crazy. And we create tornadoes. But with that, we've also completed the musket. Now, surprisingly, a lot of these guns are actually bought from the first sea. So like, as you can tell, the next gun is also from the first sea, which is a flintlock, a captain's pocket gun, which is exactly what I need, you know, being a captain myself. Oh, this thing looks dangerous. It's like a <laughs> megaphone. And it also has a crazy reload time. Okay. We need 80 mastery for this one. So we might actually need to head to the second C to get a bit of mastery. And then we'll come back to the first C to get the next set of guns. How much damage do we do to these second C guys? 1800? Honestly, this isn't bad. Our first move, disabling shot. Two. I feel like I got scammed. We're already at 54 mastery. So this is going to be quick. We just need to go fight a boss. This will do perfect. My uncommon weapon versus the awakened ice admiral. Disable. Yeah, that's right. Try and get close to me. Okay, he can- What? I'm not even in range. Oh no, there's an enemy here. This takes so long. He's gonna yoink my kill. Oh wait, it's a crew member. Crew member, get to work. What do I pay you guys for? Fight back. Okay, slowly but surely, slowly but surely. Never mind, I'm stuck. Oh, finally. And we got the move. Rapid gun. What does this do? Rapid gun. Oh, it just turns the flintlock into a machine gun. That's quite cool. But now we need to go find the blacksmith, which I don't remember where he is on this sea. Aha, I have found him. Hello, Mr. Blacksmith. What's it gonna cost this time? Five magma ore and five leather. There we go, plus 25% damage, which means we've completed the flintlock now as well. But now it seems like we're getting onto the rarer weapons. Like these guys are purple names. And with the next weapon on the list, I actually, yep. I've bought this refined slingshot before, as you can see, the rare gun. And I've already leveled it up as well. So I don't need to actually do any leveling for this one. Because it's a rare gun, that means it's gonna be expensive to one star it. Why is that cheaper than the previous one? And it gets less of a damage boost, only 20%. I mean, yes, it costs 10 of each of those materials, but they're just common. So like, that's just so much easier. Wow, for a slingshot, <laughs> this does a lot of damage. But that's another one checked off. And we're going in like perfect order right now. But once we do all of these rare ones, after that is when things are going to get really difficult. Now, the next gun is also another one we can get from this advanced weapon dealer. Honestly, while I'm here, I should probably get the cannon as well. 100k? There we go, the flintlock and the cannon. Now, the refined flintlock, but it requires 100 
120 mastery to get the first move. And this should give me my first move, which should make it easier. Another disabling shot. Oh, wait, I forgot. All the guns, they just have the same moves over and over. But like, they do more damage. Either way, I think this is just the same gun. But even with our bosses, and it might take a while, we're gonna easily be able to do this. And that's mastery 100. And there's just one more step I need to finish. I'm missing three of these magma, and it gives me 20% damage. I'll be back, you absolute scammer. I think magma ore we can literally only get from the first C. So we gotta go back again. I only need three of these things. So hopefully I get lucky. There's one magma ore. Oh, this is gonna take so long. This is a common material, by the way. I'm not getting anything. Oh, yes, there we go. Okay, just one more left. Yes. Oh, finally. Right, I think that's everything we need. Yep, there's 10 magma ores. I'm back, you cheap skate. Upgrade my rare gun. Now this is starting to get a bit difficult, but we have got the star on it now, which means we can do this and move on to the next one. <laughs> Look at this thing. This is meaty. Wait, have I not just taken like a cannon off the side of a pirate ship? Hold on. I need to do some investigating. Wait a second. It's just like me, <laughs> but I'm portable. Okay, this might be my favorite gun so far. Let's go see if Swan's home. See if he wants to taste cannon. Let's do this, Swan. Oh, he is home. 3,600? Okay, the reload time is actually like ridiculous, but still. Who is this guy? You. Whoops. Wait, wait. I need to yoink the kill. I need to yoink the kill. This guy's coming in for the kill steal. Oh, never mind. Oh, we good. Wait, we're getting both of these moves? Wow, I love the second C. We've just got all of the moves. Now I just need to go see what this costs. I need more of that. Are you joking? Oh my. This upgrade gives me 30% damage? <laughs> Back to the volcano. Here goes. I just hope that I can get it fast enough. I'm sorry, but I refuse to believe it. There is no way that this thing is a common drop. Look at the mastery on my gun. Oh, wow. I finally got one. Is it gonna take so? Oh, one, two in a row. Wait, three for three? Ah, oh, never mind. Dreams crushed. Day ruined. Ah, oh, I guess the grind continues yet again. Yes, that's five. Finally, I can like put down this stupid looking thing. So if we head back to the pirate village, we can talk to the blacksmith again and he's gonna like hammer. Yep, he's gonna hammer these things into my gun. There we go. Cannon, grade one. This is 30% more damage now. Let's see. One shot. 4.8. Wow, what? That's actually insane. There we go. Cannon ticked off. We're getting so close. We're literally about halfway. Now for the next gun, it's actually surprisingly a boss drop from this magma island. So, you know, I'm back here. We're suffering again, but luckily because of my insane damage, it should be really easy to defeat this guy. Yep. One more hit. Phew. And we got it first try. This thing, we're gonna need 200 mastery to get its X move. 200 mastery is gonna be a lot to get. So we're starting with like the big mastery bosses. The Awakened Ice Admiral. Oh, we got our first move though. Dragon Bullet. Interesting. All right, we're gonna go test this out on the next boss we see. Perfect. Dragon Bullet. Did it have like the shape of a dragon? I couldn't tell to be honest. Okay, let me test this again from further away. Dragon Bullet. Oh yeah, it's like really tiny and really hard to see, but the bullet is a dragon. So they actually did change some things with this one. It's not just copy paste like every single other gun. Here we go. It's mastery time. 360. Oh yeah, I've signed me up, Phase Clan. All right, it's time for you to go. I'm done here. 179. I'm actually so close now. With this, that's 200. We head back to the blacksmith. Let's see what it's going to cost us this time to upgrade this thing. I need fish tails this time. And it only gives me 20% damage. Right, I'm not quite sure where... What do I get these? First C? Is there somewhere in this C I can get them? All right, yep. Turns out we got to be down here underwater. And I think, yep, it's Hello these there. guys here. They're the ones with the highest chance of dropping it. Or maybe not these guys specifically. I'm not too sure. So I guess I'm just going to sit here and then hope and pray for the best. After about 10 minutes, I finally got the first fish tail. Again, this is supposed to be... Oh, wait, no, this isn't... This is uncommon. Okay, that's fair. But I need 10. And this isn't even my rarest gun I'm trying to level. This is just random gun number three. Wait, I actually got another one. Every single time I complain, it seems like I get something. I just need to complain more. Problem solved. We are at seven fish tails now, so we're getting super close. Yes, finally. We've got all 10 fish tails. Now I can go upgrade this thing and be done. Hello, Mr. Blacksmith. I am here to upgrade this thing. Boom, easy. Plus 20% more damage. 3k damage. Not bad at all. And with this, that's another one ticked off. But now we've just got one final gun, and that drops from this guy here, Whisper. And this is also a 5% drop, like the refined musket. So I gotta get lucky. Come on, first try. We got... Okay, just some angel wings. Okay, finally. And now we've got our first... Wait, this is a legendary gun? Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm ready to use this. It's like Canon 2.0. It fires actual rockets as well. Like, oh, that's quite cool. However, to get mastery, we're gonna need to go fight some bosses. And with this final hit, we should get our first move. Oh, yeah, easily get our first move. Now we need to get to 250 mastery and get incendiary ammo. So I think for the first time, we're gonna head to the third C. Otherwise, it's gonna take me so long to get all that mastery. I do only have 24 hours to do this. And also, wait, I should check something while I'm here. Check the gun. What does it need? I need literal dark fragment. 15 dragon scales and 10, 10 magma ore again to be genius 500 IQ. We're gonna go get our mastery on the Hydra Island, which might seem dumb instead of fighting bosses, but I genuinely think it's gonna take us so long to get all 15 of these dragon scales that we might as well just go and grind from the get-go. Let's see. We've managed to get our bazooka to 229 and we have one dragon scale. Oh, we got a second one. Oh, there we go. We finally got all the moves. So it's been about an hour. I don't know which evil developer decided to make dragon scales this rare, but I've got 
18 somehow. I went a bit above and beyond, but I've been waiting so long to do this. I can finally upgrade this. Never mind. No, I can't. I need to go get magma. Oh, God damn it. I did all that grinding and I gotta go back to the first C now. There we go. About 30 minutes later, now I can finally get off this stupid RPG. And there we go. All of that for a tiny little star next to his name. For a legendary gun that was already so much suffering and we've still got like two more of these to go. And the mythical. But obviously as well, I gotta test out my damage. I gotta test out the bazooka. How much do we do now? At least 7,000, sure. 5,000? Wait, that's actually kind of crazy. Now there's a few of these that I don't even want to have to think about doing yet. So we're gonna go get the bizarre rifle next. And to buy this weapon, it's somewhere on this ship that, you know, I can't remember because I haven't been here in ages. This guy, do you give me this stuff? I have four ectoplasm. They just tell me how poor I am. Okay, where is it? Is it in the basement? Am I remembering correctly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy, I think. Talk, hello again. Oh, wait, what? He just said hello again. Oh, I've already got the gun. You have got to be kidding me. I need 300 mastery? Ain't no way. So I guess our first objective is gonna be trying to get as much mastery on this thing as possible. So to do that, we're off to the third C. We're really getting into the big boy levels now. Like the bazooka was a legendary gun and yet the mastery was still less than this rare gun. I got my first move, heat seeking shot. Nothing about that was hot. It was like lightning, but I'm also pretty happy because this is like a completely unique gun. Like it's not just the same old rinse and repeat with like the musket, but we should probably get to the next boss because I don't know how much more magma ore I'm gonna have to go get. I figured out some crazy tech with this bizarre rifle. Like it's bizarre for a reason. If I shoot over here with my heat seeking shot, it just aims and follows exactly where the enemy is. So what I was saying before about this name not making any sense now makes a lot of sense. But there's one enemy I actually want to try this on. Will the heat seeking work on a skeleton? Let's find out. It did. It kind of like went up to the side and then like swooshed down. And that's the bizarre rifle to 250. Just 50 more mastery and then we can get a final move. And with this, I finally got the new skill. Hellfire shower. This better be good. Ooh, a blue fire. Okay, this is kind of like my favorite gun I've used so far. And now I just need to find out how expensive this thing is going to be. Okay, Mr. Blacksmith. What do I need to do to get the star? So I need leather, which honestly I'm surprised I'm low on. And of course we need the magma. Every single gun needs magma for some reason. And it only gives us a 15% damage buff. Well, I guess we're heading to the first C since that's like where all the good stuff is. There we go. A good 20 minutes of grinding and I got six. This is so rough. Now I gotta go to the pirate village, which is also like where the blacksmith is. And I believe that these mobs here are the ones that can drop leather. I think leather's what I need. Drop me some leather. I need to test because these are just like default pirates. So I believe they can. Hey, this is a robbery. Drop all the leather you have. These mobs sometimes randomly drop scrap metal. It's already hard enough to get like a couple of common materials. <laughs> then they have a chance to drop scrap. Look, what is that? Please. Uh, at least it's like a good aim trainer. I guess. If I was a fan of games like Valorant, Blocks Roots would be the way to go to train my aim. Finally, Blacksmith Man. Upgrade my gun. There we go, we got a star. Which means Bizarre Rifle is ticked off as well. Now, to make this even more difficult for myself, let's do back-to-back -back material grind. The Kabucha is something I've already leveled up. I've got all of its moves, luckily. However, if I come over here, what does it need to be upgraded? Oh my- Wait, this is evil. This is 15% damage only? Okay, okay. We're gonna start with the easy stuff. We're heading back to the first sea and we're getting the leather. Pirate Village, I'm back. Round two. Can I maybe like hit multiple of these guys at once? Why are these guys so annoying to hit? Okay, this thing has like no- It has like no range. We got a leather though. These moves are so cool on the Kabucha, but- Yo, my fault. I feel so bad. Okay, wait. I gotta go. I gotta, like, say sorry. I'm gonna give that guy a random fruit because I feel so bad. The chopped fruit, that's just gonna make him feel even worse. He even said, huh? Are hey, you. Take this. It's a token of my apology. He says no. He doesn't accept my apology. Oh, well. Back to grinding. And after 30 minutes of less painful grinding, yep, I've got all 50 leather that I need, which means now we need to head back to the third C and try and get 13 dragon scale. This is gonna be awful. So I did a bit of extra grinding for no reason at all. So now now I have 30 dragon scales. I won't lie, this took me like two hours, but I've got extra now, just in case. But with this, I think it means we can finally speak to the blacksmith. Upgrade gun. Yep, there it is. Kabucha plus 15% damage. How much damage do we do now? Okay, that's a lot of damage. You know, I'm pretty happy with that. There goes Kabucha. I've already also completely leveled the soul guitar, the like the only mythical gun I've managed to like completely level in a different video, but I've never got a star on it or upgraded it. So blacksmith, what does it cost? We only get 6% damage for all of this? This game's evil. Uh, so I guess I'm going back to the first C or even the second C to get magma ore. You know what? We'll go to the second C because in the second C, we have to wait one hour 30 for one of the weapons that it's going to be a pain to get. I think I finally, yeah, I got 12 magma ore. Yes. Oh, it spawns so much less frequently here that I made a massive dent in the one hour 30 I need to get the next weapon. But for now, we're heading back to the blacksmith again. He's probably getting tired of seeing me. And then we go. Graph. We've got our plus 6% damage soul guitar now. How much damage does this do now? Damage 
move does like a lot. My left click does, boom, 2.2k damage. That's what you like to see. And while we're waiting for one of them that I can only get in that building over there, we're actually gonna head back to the third C because we need to defeat a boss. Oh yeah, and I of course can't forget to do this. The most satisfying part of even doing this. Here we go. The boss that we gotta defeat to get the item is the Island Empress. Now, I think the item is only like a 5% drop chance, which means I'm most definitely not getting it on the first try. First try, first try, please, please. We just got mastery. Okay, now we still have a half. Another boss, I got nothing. Okay, this has got to be lower than 5%. I've still not got it. Why is this guy T-posing towards me? That's kind of scary. Yes, the Serpent Bow. Finally, this is... Oh, it's another legendary one. That's so tragic. Wait, I had this? That would have saved me so much time if I knew that I had this. It's got a move called Poisonous Blast, which sounds very fun if I could fire it. Oh, and then it like summons like... That is a cheater. That guy's in creative... Okay, I'm leaving the server. All right, what does this gun need? It's legendary, so... Okay, that's not bad. How do I get these teeth? I feel like I've never seen these teeth before. How was the rocket launcher, which was like a terrible legendary, so much more difficult to upgrade than this thing? Now, it seems like those teeth things weren't teeth at all. They're actually tusks. And I need to get all of these guys together to try and get them to drop. Poisonous Blast. Oh, it has so much damage over time. Wait, this is so good. I barely need to shoot as much as I normally would with the other ones. I just poison. There we go. We got our first mini tusk. I can't remember how many I need. Oh, oh yeah, I just need one more. Okay, that's not too bad. Although I might not have all the moves on this thing yet, I think I can still upgrade it for free. Oh, I just don't have the right item. I spent all that time farming those things for no reason. Yeah, so it turns out I actually need to be in the second seat. It's actually vampire teeth that I'm trying to get. It took a little while, but I think I, yep, I have all the materials so I can upgrade the serpent bow, which means now we just need to get the other 20 mastery to get a second move called snake bind. Jeremy, I've come to defeat you to get all the mastery. I think he's literally the only boss alive in this entire sea. Wow, he only gave me two mastery. That's rough. I thought he was going to at least get me to 250. Yes, I finally got it. Snake bind. What does this even do? Like make him get trapped. Ah, that's pretty cool, actually. It's useful for a bow like this where you have to like poison them and hit them. But that means, boom, serpent bow is done. That means we've only got this rifle left, which is about perfect timing because I think the factory raid should be starting soon. And that's how we get it. We get it from the factory raid. Yes, it only took 30 minutes. I've been waiting for this. The factory to be breached. Switch to the Buddha fruit so I'm prepared. And like, this is where we get the final gun from. And I, I think it's 100%. So if I don't get it, then I don't particularly want to have to wait all this time again. Here we go. Fight the core. Fight the core. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Give me the weapon. Give me the weapon. Give me the weapon, please. Item drop acidum rifle. Nice. Where is it? There it is. The acidum rifle. It looks... Wow, that's actually really cool. I've got a backpack. And this gun needs 200 mastery to get all of its moves. And it's another poison weapon, which means we can probably just head back to another one of the strong bosses. But to make sure we speed run this, because I'm running out of time on the 24 hours, we're gonna head back to the third C. While we really are speed running, I've already got my first move called Spiky Bomb. Spiky Bomb. Oh, it's like a poison explosion. That's quite cool. All I gotta defeat now is this Island Empress, and then I'll have all of the guns leveled up. Every single one. It's taken years off my life to do this with, like, awakening them as well. But there it is. Acidic Smoke. That's the last move. Oh, it's like a long-range poison cloud. Wait, that's pretty cool. Let me try that on this enemy. Hey, you. I want to see how long-range it goes as well. Hold on. Take this! Oh, it stops on them. You know, this rifle's actually pretty strong. But now the moment of truth. We need to find out how expensive it is to level up. Bruh. So we need vampire fangs from the second C and we need nine leather. <sighs> I guess we'll head back to the second C first and then we'll go get the leather. I just need one more leather. Then I'm finished with every single gun in Block Streets. Yes! Okay, now luckily for me, the blacksmith is right here. Upgrade. Boom. A Sidham rifle, grade one. God, look at all the stars. We've got so many stars now. But with that, it means we've got every single gun fully upgraded in Block Streets. Apart from this one, because you can't get it. In Block Streets, there are 36 accessories you can get in the game. And some of them are insanely OP. So I'm going to spend as long as it takes to unlock every single one. And our mission starts here in the first C, where we're going to get the only blue accessory in the entire game. And it's that thing right there. On Swan's back, that's what we need. So please give me the drop first try. It would be unfortunate if I didn't get it first try. I got nothing. Now, a lot of these accessories I already have. But for this one... Bruh. Now, for things like this swan cape thingy, I already have a lot of these. But to make this slightly more difficult for myself, I'm forcing myself to get the drops again. <laughs> Is he bugged? Does he not drop this or something? What is this? Surely I get it this time. Surely. 
There it is. Item drop pink coat, which means I can do this. Only 35 more to go. Luckily for me, when I first played through the first C, I bought the black cape. I already own this item. So we can do this. And this coat right here from the Vice Admiral, which I can't really see, I have also managed to get, which means we've got three down. Next up on the list, we are once again taking from a boss. We need those shades on Cyborg's head, which honestly shouldn't be too difficult to get, I don't think. Then again, if it's anything like the swan boss, this could take ages. Yep, we didn't get it first try. How about second try, though? Wait, I need to actually beat the boss. We got nothing again. <laughs> Bruh. Attempt number three. Also got nothing. Please give me the drop. There we go. Cool shades. We actually got them. Oh, yeah. We are looking slick now. We just gained plus 100 charisma with these things, which also means we can do this. Now, the marine cap is a bit of a weird one to get because you actually need to defeat a pirate player as a marine. And luckily for me, I've done that plenty of times before. So I've already got the cap. Now, a lot of these I already have. So let's speed run through them. The swordsman hat obtained. As for the Tomoe rings, already got these as well. So we've almost completed an entire row. The question is, do I have Usopp's hat? This hat can only be obtained by defeating three players near the user's level. I have definitely managed to do so. Please tell me. Yes, there it is. This looks so bad. But that is our first line completed. And with this, I also believe we finished everything in the first C. So we can head on to the second C. And this is where it's going to get real challenging. Because we can also work on getting our first mythical accessory. The top hat and warrior helmet are two that I also have. So we can do this and then this. Now, this is where things get tricky. We've got three spiky coats and I don't remember how many I have. I have just one of them. Right, this is kind of bad. We can do this at least, but we need the blue and the red, which it seems we can only get from the cursed captain who only has a 33% chance of spawning every night. So while we wait for it to become nighttime, we need a ship. We need to work on spawning sea beasts for arguably one of the hardest accessories in the game to get. But I mean, it all depends on how lucky we get and whether we can actually spawn a sea beast. Now, to easily kill the sea beast, I'm going to equip magma. And now we just like wait. We literally just wait. I've got a crew of people helping me spawn them in and we just hope we can get them to spawn. Finally, a sea beast. Now, the question is, is will any of these players get the drop? Because we need to get a fist of darkness to even spawn Blackbeard or Darkbeard, whatever he's called in this. So pretty much we need to get insanely lucky. And I am not lucky. Come on, game. Show me the goods, please. Where has the sea beast gone? We got a bug sea beast? Are you kidding? So it's been like a... a very long time, I'm being honest. We've got three fists here, so hopefully we can maybe get the coat. The chance of getting it, though, is, like, super rare. So let's go to the dark arena, and I just need to get as much damage as I can. And the problem is, is I don't even know what the chance of him dropping the coat is, if it's even, like, a pretty easy chance to get, because it might just be incredibly annoying to get. I got dark fragments. That's it. And three levels. Yippee! All right, next one. Bro, these Buddha gamers need to relax. I can't even see the boss. All right, one more hit. Dark fragments again? Okay, this has got to be like a 1% chance or something. There's no way. Here's the final one. This is the final attempt. And then we're going to have to farm for the Fist of Darkness again. My fist luck is awful. Come on. Come on. Come on. The fragments again. <laughs> and now once again, we go back to sitting and waiting and staring at this wheel. My sea beast luck is so bad. Like, not only do I not get the drop, like the fist, but I don't even get sea beasts. Yes, yes. A shiver just ran down my spine. Perfect. It's time to get this red coat. Come on, come on. Red spiky coat. Red spiky coat. 14k. Please, red spiky coat. Red spiky coat. What'd I get? Ectoplasm. I don't need it. I can't believe I got the Hellfire Torch. I'm actually mad. No way. I was trying to get back to where I was before, and I've spawned a sea beast. That's crazy. All right, here we go. Magma time. Show me the good... Wait, it's gonna break my boat. No boat breaking on my watch. I got a top hat. Cool. All right, we got one more fist, which means another attempt at getting this item. I've been sent screenshots from the guys that I'm doing this with that most of them have gotten this dark coat multiple times. It's just the Koopa Core luck right here. It's just so bad that... The only way that it'll get better is uh, if you subscribe. It's, it's the only way. I should have enough damage now so we can just take him down. I got fragments. Yippee. What a surprise. My blue ice cream cone does not increase my luck. We have brought in the backup. I've got an entire fleet of pirates here to help me out and try and get sea beasts. Also, if we have like all these people as well, it should increase our chance of just getting more fists of darkness. And then we can do like seven or eight fists in a row and then I'll get it. 100% I'll get it. And then we'll have one of the two mythical items just gone. Done out the way. All right, this is our first sea beast with the new group. And the strat is for everyone to get like about 20k damage so they can get credit. And then that's it. There we go. I got my 20k. I'm making a schmoove. I got a hat. 
a uh, chopper hat. So good. So epic. Nice. Did anyone else get? That guy got a fist. Oh, we got two. I think we got two first try. Second CB stim bounce. Ow. Okay, here we go. I think I got my damage. Should be good. I got a level. Yay. Bro, I'm so unlucky. All right, we got one more fist here. We got two out of 12. If we could, if the whole lobby could get one, that'd be insane. I completely just didn't clock that, but we did get the chopper hat from the sea beast, which is pretty good. So I might as well check my inventory to see what I've actually got while we wait for another sea beast to spawn. I definitely have pilot helmet. Yep, of course I've got pilot helmet. One of the best accessories in the game. So I can cross off pilot helmets. I've also got the lay. Absolutely speed running. I don't remember getting most of these, but we're speed running. When did I get these? Not gonna complain. Got swan glasses, another legendary down and can't forget about the pale scar. Yep, obviously got that as well. Oh, that's not bad for a start. We got another sea beast. This is my moment. This right here is where I'm gonna get the item that I need. 100% confirmed. Right, I've done the damage. I can just run away now. Let's go back over here. All right, I'm just gonna sit in my chair and I'm gonna get the item. I didn't get the item. Did anybody else though? Oh, that guy got a fist right here. Run three out of 12. All right, we finally got another sea beast. It only took, I don't know, like 15 more minutes. Something crazy. Well, I already got my damage. That was easy. I got nothing again. I can't believe it, bro. And it seems like nobody else got lucky either. We get two sea beasts? But well, that's actually kind of crazy. Double chances. All right, I got my damage on the first one. Now I just got to go for damage on the second one. Should be enough, I think. I got a level. Yay. Strange item. Come on. This is the one. This is the... Yes! I knew it. All right, I got another shiver. Let's see if I'm gonna get lucky. I need the red or the blue spiky coat. Knowing my luck, I'm just like not gonna get it. All right, he's below half. Please, 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 come on. Final hit. Show me the goods. I got nothing. All right, we're literally just gonna attempt the four fists of darkness that we have now to hope that we can get it. I just wanna get this coat so I can like move on to bigger and better things. Like Bruh. not that. There we go, another one. Loki, I don't think I've done my damage yet. I'll have to hope that I did. I got dark fragments again. That's crazy. <sighs> come on, two more attempts, two more attempts. I can do this. It's like 2% chance. I got this. All right, come on. Last attempt. I didn't even get credit for the third one. So just kind of like wasted time. All right, there we go. 40k damage. Now I just vibe. And I got nothing again. Cool. That was so fun. Now we need to head back to C. All right, here we go. We got another dark beard, which means another prime chance to get me a new dark coat. Come on. Come on. Come up. Close. What a surprise. Just got a fragment. Bro, this is the first sea beast we've seen in about an hour. Oh, please just give me the fist of darkness, please. Yes. I got a fist. All right. I think I was like the only one to get one there. So I'm going to head back to the cafe and I'm going to chill. Okay. One dark beard later. What am I going to get? Fragments once again. Surprise, surprise. I honestly might just have to give up on the dark coat for now and just focus on some of like the technically easier ones, like the spiky coats. And then also some of the third C items. But honestly, I I just really want to try and get the dark coat first. So then that's just out the way and done. So here we go. Will the boss give me a drop that I need? And I got another hellfire. To Bruh. Okay, but I do have two more chances at dark beard. Here's the first one. Come on, come on, please give me the 2%. It's going to be the dark dagger all over again. I just know it. Come on. Attempt number two. Yeah, it's never happening. I'm never getting this item. It's confirmed. It's a new day, which means another day to hunt sea beasts and get nothing. Like, literally, the last time I did this was yesterday. I needed a fresh start, you know, like a mental reset because of how unlucky I get. Watch, I'm not gonna get anything. I'll sacrifice this flame fruit to increase my luck. Come on. Come on. I got a chopper, bruh. We finally got another fist. Like, it literally took an entire day. An entire day is crazy. Maybe I'll be rewarded, though. Like, I'll put in the time. Come on. Come on. Please, please, please. Another fragment. <laughs> All right, cool. We got another dark beard. Like, we, I guess we got lucky and got two fists. This is crazy with so many Buddha fruits. All right, I got my damage. Come on. Oh, 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 yes! Oh my god, I won the 2% chance. I did it! I actually, I got it! Yes! It only took, like, a couple of days. How many fragments did I end up getting? I got 15 fragments from, like, two. That's crazy. Oh, I look so drippy. I've got the cool walk now. I've got the drip! Oh, I look good. I look real good. Wait, what did that just say? Did he just say I also got one? How dare he get lucky first try? I can finally do this. That is so good. I'm so happy about that. I suppose now I just gotta sit here and wait for it to become nighttime and hopefully win the one in three so the boss in there spawns. Then I can get the red spiky coat. That's what I'm looking for. No way. We actually got it. We actually got it. Please give me the drop. I want my back-to-back -back coats. I've tasted greatness once. I just, I know I can do it. The moment of truth. Will we get back-to-back -back rare drops? Will we do it? Please give me the goods. I got ectoplasm. Surprise, surprise. Of course, I'm not gonna get back-to-back. -back. All right, we've got another cursed captain. And I got absolutely nothing again. Bruh, are you kidding? Trying to get this drop is so impossible. Here goes, come on. Red spiky coat, give it to me. Surely this is it. 
I got a blue ice cream cone before. I... This spiky coat might be rarer than this coat I've got on right now. That's kind of crazy. Back to server hopping, I guess. Hope we find another one. I managed to get lucky and find another server with a cursed captain. Now the question is, will I like double up on my luck and actually get the drop? Then I can like leave the second C, I think. I think I'll have all the second C accessories. I could just be gone. There we go. That should be it. Bro, this drop has got to be rarer than this coat. What? There's an entire war at this curse, Captain, this time. People are just going to war. It's crazy. And yet, I'm just here to try and get my stuff. I don't care about PvP. Just give me the drop. Maybe because it's more dangerous this time, I'll get it. <gasps> oh! <laughs> no way! What? There's a blue one? No way. I just got both of them. It looks black. Hold on. I can't see anything. Here we go. It's daytime. There we go. We got the blue spiky coat. There we go. We also got the red one in the same drop. That's my luck coming back for getting so unlucky. Now, if we take a look on the Bloxus wiki, from the second C, I still have to get the ghoul mask. That's the only thing left. The ghoul mask can be bought from El Perro, who is located on the cursed ship. 50 ectoplasm. Well, I have an insane stash of it now because of all those bosses I've just hunted. So where is El Perro? I've never heard of this guy before. Is he up here? Oh, he's not in there. That's El Admin. Is he in this room? Maybe they're next door neighbors. No. Nope. That's the Midnight Blade guy, right? Where's this guy? In here? Aha! El Perro, I found him. Would you like to trade 50 ectoplasm for ghoul mask? Yes, please. Ooh, I've never had this. This looks sick. We're making a nice dent. Oh, and we can't forget about the zebra cap as well. That one is incredibly easy to get. We've just got to go to lava. And then we just got to buy a microchip, which is behind the thing in here. Yep, here he is. A thousand fragments. And then we got to go all the way up here into a secret little area. Just over here. All right, and now we use the microchip and we enter this raid against the order boss. Now, just so I don't get absolutely destroyed, let's get a Buddha fruit on. And now we'll farm him. All right, I forgot how annoying this boss's movement is. Oh yeah, this, this is so annoying. This is meant to be like a raid fight, so you're supposed to do it with a bunch of other people, but I feel different. He's also like a thousand levels lower than me, but we don't talk about that. And there you go. Zebra cap first time because I think it's a 100% drop. So we can cross that one off the list. And that means we can move on to the third C. All right, for the next one, I thought we'd go for a semi-difficult one because you need the hollow essence. And my luck is so mid that I'd never get it. So let's see. I think I've got enough for like nine spins. I keep getting money in fragments. This is not a good start. Are you kidding? I'm so unlucky. I might need backup. All right, one more time. Final attempt. Yep, that's about how it goes for me. All right, I've just grinded enough bones for my final attempt. Last try and then I gotta wait two hours. I got fragments. All right, I'm gonna have to get all the backup I can to come and do spins, and then we can attempt to get an item called the Holy Crown. Okay, I've got a yes, crew sir. of people yes, spinning sir. for me now. Surely we get the Hollow yes, Essence. It's not that rare. It's just kind of rare. Now, I didn't want to try and get the accessory again, but everybody got so unlucky, we didn't get a single Hollow Essence. As you can see, nothing yeah. hollow about that. However, in the past, when I've grinded for the Hollow Scythe, I've got basically an infinite amount of Holy Crowns. So we can just tick this one off the list. Now, the wiki is also saying this accessory here, the bear ears. You can also get from a random bone surprise from the Death King. Now, this is the question. Because I've used all my bones, do I have the bear ears? I do. I don't remember getting these, but I'm happy I do. Because we can get rid of this one here. Next up, the shark tooth necklace. This was actually something that I'm pretty sure you have to buy to be able to do the Leviathan or get the beast hunter boat. Where is it? I always forget how you get into this place. Aha, here we go. Shark hunter. I believe. Yeah, yeah. And the terror jaw to get the monster magnet. You need the tooth necklace and the terror jaw, which I believe I have both of. Yep, sharp tooth necklace. And I think I have the terror jaw. I do as well. Now, I made a little mistake on this board. This bandana and hunter cape, there are actually multiple versions of being literally three different colors of both. And the way that you get these is by talking to the elite hunter guy and going on a mission to hunt somebody down. You gotta go find Urban in Floating Turtle. I can see the tiny little pixels over there of Urban. There he is. And if we defeat him, we have a chance of getting a cape, a bandana, or even... Oh, no. That was, ouch, or even the 1% job. Which I didn't get anything. Cool. <laughs> Typical. Now, when I was going for Dark Dagger, I literally hunted down about 200 of those guys. So it's time to put my luck to the test and see if I've actually got the stuff. Bandana. We've got all three. So we can cross this off. I'm hoping I have all the capes or else that's just going to be long. We've also got all the capes, which means we don't have to spend any time trying to get those because that'll be so long. <laughs> now, since making this board, I completely forgot, but Blocks Roots added the new Kitsune ribbon and Kitsune mask. And I did an entire video where I got every single 
one of these items from the event, which means although they're new, they're already crossed off. And once again, taking a look on the wiki, we've got the Valkyrie helm. This is a legendary helmet, but it's a 100% drop from Rip Indra boss. At least it felt like it when I fought this boss a hundred times. I got way too many of this hat right here, but thanks to that, we can just easily cross this one off as well. We only have six more accessories to get, and I've never even seen this golden sun hat before. Do I happen to have it? What? When did I get this? It looks so dumb, but I've got one. The golden sun hat can be obtained after purchasing a random surprise from the Death King again. I don't know when I got these, but can't complain, which means five to go. We've still got like basically the hardest one to go, but I'm going to save that one till last because I am terrified of trying to get this item. Next up is an item called the Pretty Helmet, and it says that this can be obtained after completing five elite pirate quests. The Lunovan NPC in the cafe. Ah, this guy. Yeah, I've seen this guy a couple times. I didn't know he did anything, though. I told him, enjoy your reward. Have I already spoken to him before? I mean, I've easily done more than enough of those. Uh, whoever called this the Pretty Helmet needs to get their eyes checked. Like, what is this? I'm like a glorified paintbrush. The only one left that we're missing is this jaw shield, which actually has really good, like, effects. The jaw shield can be attained after completing five quests from the player hunter and then interacting with the Takomura NPC. It says that Captain Elephant wears this accessory. Where's Takomura? This guy? I guess it's so annoying they won't let me train. Have I not done this one? Wait, I actually don't have this. Okay, I need to go do some player hunting quests. And I believe this guy over here is the player hunter. Yeah, this guy with a little crow on his shoulder. All right, what build should I use to get this item? I need something cringe. Let's go with this little skill as possible. So T-Rex. And then I guess I'll get like a better sword that I'm more familiar with, like Fox Lamp. Or maybe even Shark Anchor. I really- Hold on. They just spawn Rip Indra. Hey guys, don't mind me. Stop using your disco please for a second. I wanna- Adol. I need to find Adol. Does he happen to be any of these guys per chance? Why are these marines attacking me? This is tough. This is real tough. What's his name? What's his name? Katakuri Demon. Okay, I need to deal with these guys first. This is kind of bad. I'm in a- bit of a laggy server as well. Okay, cool. Buddha fruit user. Love to see that. I'm running. I'm running. I'm gonna go. Get me out. Get me out. Get me out. Please. Maybe I take off Sanguine. I'm gonna go get God Human. And then we might have to try and find somebody else to hunt because this guy, he, he's like nowhere to be seen. All right, I'm back on Turtle. We just need to make our way over to God Human. I'm making it safely so far. All right, this is gonna help so much with these hunts. There we go. We got God Human. Ah, and actually, I can use one of my other accessories to find this guy. Pale Scarf gives me like vision of the whole map. Where is he? Aha! Which island? is that? Is that Port Town? No way they're having me kill like a fresh little player to this sea. That'd just be cruel. Wait, where is he? Oh, here he is. <laughs> he was stood at the quest guy and I didn't see him. So I'm sorry what I'm about to do, but I kind of have to. He's like, he's not even there. Hunter mission complete. Target down. I got my second target. K Chito. He could be just about anywhere. Let's see. He is on. He's over there on Turtle. Okay, that's easier. Is he at Turtle Mansion? Wait, what? Did you just go through the. Is Bro bamboozling me? I'm so confused. I found him. There's no escape from me anymore, K Chito. There's no escape. He's a cheater as well. He's got mammoth. That is not okie dokie. How low is he? Oh, he's just about to die. How convenient. There we go. Hunter mission completed number two. Yes, next target. I'm gonna hunt down Vania. Where are they hiding? There's nowhere you can hide. They got light fruit or something. How are they flying so high? Total mansion. Oh, there's an absolute war zone over here. They're being hunted. They're in V4. Okay, this might be a bit harder than I thought. I'm probably gonna have to put on a better fruit. Portal's not gonna cut it. T-Rex is probably good. Or what I do something cringe like Doe. Where's Vania? Oh no, who's this random guy? No, my thing got cancelled because they died. Are you serious? Adam. It tells you where they're lurking. Floating turtle. Wait, that's so cool. It tells you what island they're on. Gotta go take him down. Adam D10. You're done, buddy. I see you, Adam. Let's just fire one of those in there. Did I hit Adam? Nope. I don't even see him. Where's the guy that I'm looking for? He got killed as well. Can I get somebody who's not in Mortal Kombat, please? Lord of Floating Turtle. He's over there. Please don't die. I'm coming to help put you down. That's that's the thing. I'm gonna help put you down. Get over here. No. No, I missed it. I missed it. No. Wait. Oh, that was the wrong guy. Oh, no. Wait, hold on. Don't let me cook. Don't let me... Oh, no. That's very bad. Yeah, I took a lot more damage than I would have liked to there. Where's the other guy gone? Oh, he's there. Where's the guy that I'm trying to... The guy that I'm trying to hunt down is dead again, man. Next attempt. Where's the guy that I'm looking for? I have found him. Hello, Kitsune guy. It's nothing personal. You gotta go for the greater good. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Thank you. I'm taking freebies at this point. I don't even care. That took so long. All right. I've got some prey at Port Town. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Over there. Over there. I'm sorry for what I'm about to do. Bro's hunting down my kill. Yes. I don't hit W. I thought he could steal my kill like that. All right. Just one more. That's all that I need. All right. I found the guy that I need to hunt and he's already hunting me down. That's unfortunate. Bro, are you kidding me? Thankfully, I can try and hunt this guy down again. Bro. Why can't? There we go. 
There we go. That's what I'm talking about. He's got a little ghoul V4 with like no upgrades. Yes! Hunter mission complete. I need to speak to this guy because now that I've done all five, I think it should work. Yep, there we go. Draw shield. What does this look like? Man, do I look stupid. <laughs> what is this? All right, but at the very least, I've got it crossed off and we've got every single rare accessory now. Oh, wait, what's this one? Musketeer hat. Oh, and I forgot there's another thing, the Leviathan crown. All right, let me just double check. Have I got the musketeer hat? I don't. The musketeer hat can be attained after completing the citizen quest. Wait, I don't have this? I swear I've done that quest. All right, hold on. Total man. Where was it? It was like over this way, I think. I believe it's over here behind this wall, right? Right there? Let me in. All right, if I open this chest. Wait, do I really not have it? Oh, no. All right, I need to decide how I'm going to solve this. All right, so if I talk to Citizen, he's supposed to... Oh, he's right here. <laughs> how have I never seen this guy before? The forest pirates are destroying the town. Please help me. We defeat 50 of them. I got it covered. Where are they? I got to go kill 50 of these guys. Are you serious? Bro, this is going to be such a long process. There's one. It's gonna take ages. Let's get a bit of fruit for this. Get T-Rex with some left clicks. That'll be good. Here we go. Once I get the transformation as well, it'll go even faster. I'm one-tenth of the way. All right, we're on 17. No, 18. That's 20. That right there is 25. One more. This is the last one right here. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Well done. Talk to Citizen again. All right. Just got to go over here. I'm looking mad devious. I have destroyed them all. Now, please defeat their leader and finish Captain Elephant. Okay. Is Captain Elephant spawned in right now? No, he's not. All right. Let's do a little respawn bosses because I'm not waiting. And I don't want to risk server hopping in case it breaks the quest line because I'm not fighting all 50 of those again. Everybody is deciding to fight this boss at the same time as me for some reason. It's a little bit tough to see what's going on, if I'm being honest. There he goes. Is the boss dead? There we go. I've been defeated. I accept my defeat. He has a line. That's cool. It's normal. You may have been able to defeat me, but you're never going to be able to defeat that man. He will avenge me. That man. Bro's gone crying to his older brother. Are you serious? No, no. If it breaks the quest line, I'm finished. Tactical retreat. I need the backup. I'll just place one of those there just in case. Right. Oh, bro. Are you serious? I've been kidnapped. I've been kidnapped. My backup has arrived. Let's kill. Yes, that's what you get. Trying to kill me. W back up. All right, the town is safer. I heard their leader left a hidden treasure in this island. Yes, which means now I can go over to there finally and claim the treasure, right? And that'll give me the musketeer helmet. But I am being chased by a kitsune all the way back there. Give me the treasure. Yoink. There we go. Seems you found it. Great work. I got new title, main character. That's sick. And we also got our brand new helmet. Where is it? There we go. Musketeer hat. Ow. I was trying to show off my helmet. Okay, never mind. That guy just got folded. There we go. We're out of combat. My goodness, is that ugly. Bro, I did all that quest for this? All right, cool. That means we only have two things left, and both of them are from the Leviathan. So I'm going to have to head out to sea, I guess. All right, it's been a while since I've done this, but I think we need to bribe, right? Got to bribe him a few times. Wait, the Leviathan's out there, I think it said. Yeah, it's out there. Go find it. All right, somebody spawned the ship. Let's find this. Hopefully, we find it fast because my Leviathan luck in the past, it took me about four to 12 hours just to find one. This could be bad. And the wiki says for the shield, you need 30 Leviathan scales. And a mirror fractal? What is that from? I think I have one of these. Please tell me I have a mirror fractal. I have two. That could have been bad. We're already in danger level four. Haven't been attacked by anything crazy yet, which could mean Leviathans are lurking over there. I should also probably equip something like magma. So I've got like the damage ready. All right, we're almost in danger level six. This is so much faster than it was in the past. Please give us the frozen dimension fast. I thought we got it right away. That would have been crazy. Oh, I guess now we just wait and hope. We got a sea beast. The boat's taking a bit of damage. We got... Oh, wanted again? Bro, what is this? Over 999 meters away. Yeah, it looks awfully frosty and cold right about now. Come on, Frozen Dimension. You know you want to spawn. Bro, we've gone out so far. Can it just spawn already, please? We're probably about 20k meters out right now, genuinely. That's how long we've been going. Will I actually get anything? That's the true question, though. You see, we might have to, like, actually try and make, if I've got any scales left over, one of the two Leviathan items. Because apparently wearing the crown... Bruh! Another shipwreck? Apparently wearing the crown increases the chance of getting the frozen dimension. Now, that could just be completely false, but it does say it increases spawn rates of like sea events, I think. So having that equipped could be so clutch for finding this frozen dimension. Bruh. Well, it's Jova. We gotta go all the way back. However, before I do that, I do want to see if I can actually craft any of this stuff because I did fight a couple of Leviathans before. So I might have enough for like one if I can find where it is. Aha, here he is. Craft Leviathan crown. Oh, I have enough. I have 16. Okay, so if I equip this crown, this should boost our odds. At least that's what people think because it's got this extra drop chance for like sea events, it seems. No way. It's been three 
f four hours? Something stupid like that? Like, literally, it took me four hours to find this thing. Like, this honestly kind of cool frozen gate. I'm gonna- wait, I need to relax. I need to relax. Four hours! Are you kidding me? We were even bribing as well. Okay, nice. We got terror sharks. But they can't attack us. We're chilling. We're chilling. It's all the way over there. I'm safe for now. Here we go. It's time! It's been so long since I fought him. Give me some scales. All right, so we ignore the head. That's the strat, right? And we hit this part, right? Yep, we hit the yellow health bar part. Where am I? Why is gravity so weird here? Bro, stop sending me to space. Oh my, I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm actually gonna lose my mind. I'm literally not gonna get credit for one of them because I can't get close. Okay, I got scales. Oh, oh my God. If I get sent away one more time, I might actually lose it. All right, we got another one over here. <laughs> Why does he keep doing that? No, I'm not gonna get credit. I'm not gonna get credit. Give me credit. No, don't knock me. Okay, I still got credit. Is it just the head left? Where'd he go? Why is he? Oh, no. What is happening? What's going on? What just happened? What just happened? Have they changed this boss fight? No, I'm actually going to die. Kill it fast. Guys, kill it fast, please. Kill it fast, please. Yes. What's that red area? What does that mean? I got three scales. Got Serpent Slayer. Bruh. Oh, we're going to get the heart as well. Okay, I don't mind an extra heart. I don't know what I need it for, but I'll, I'll take it. We hooked it. Yoink. All right, so I've now got 18 scales. I believe we need 30 for the shield, right? So I need 12 more. All right, we went on a little side quest and we delivered the heart, which we totally didn't need to do because I need more scales. Oh, man, I forgot how much fun sailing at sea is. It's been another three hours since we last found a Leviathan. Three hours. We've had it bribed the whole time and we haven't found anything. Like, this is so boring. All of this for a stupid shield I'm probably never going to use. <sighs> Please just end my suffering. It's so late. I want to sleep. All right, so I decided to go to sleep last night because I couldn't be bothered hunting for the Leviathan anymore. So I'm now awake. I'm ready to find this Leviathan right away because I can't be doing with another four hour hunt. Like, I only need the shield. That's it. Now, in case you've got to this point and you're wondering why I'm not doing limited accessories, it's because they're limited. And I do have a couple. I got a couple of the Valentine's one and I got a party hat. But that's it, I think. Oh, and I got a Santa hat. That's cool. But since I can't actually get them, I didn't add them to the list. <sighs> Finally. All right, time to get me some scales. Magma equip. I can't change while I'm stunned. How am I stunned? Please let me change. There we go. All right, it's time to get me some tails. All right, I just need enough scales. That's literally it. That's all that I need. I've literally got the Leviathan crown on as well, so I think that increases my drops, I think. At least it's supposed to. All right, we only got three. Maybe it doesn't. Bro, why is it moving so far? What is this? Now nah, this boss is so annoying now. Why does it keep moving further away? It's actually so... I'm getting so mad. I've spent like 10 hours searching for this now. I don't even care. Give me the shield, and then I'm done. I'm finished. I'll have every accessory that's obtainable. All right, cool. Four scales. That's huge. Yes, another three scales. I'm about to get V4 as well. Is there another part left? Give me my V4 now. You know what? I'm aiming for its head. I don't even care. What is it doing? What is it doing? Oh, is that what I got trapped in before? <laughs> That's crazy, actually. I am stuck. I'm lagging. This is terrible. I just hope I get enough scales. I hope I have enough. V4 time. Okay, it's Jova for you now, Leviathan. This wasn't even my final form. Boom! Five scales! Let's go! That's surely enough. That's surely enough. All right, we might as well secure the heart, you know, because why not? What? Where's our heart gone? Where's the heart gone? Wait, we've been scammed. Is that the heart over there? Nah. It's supposed to just be like following behind the boat. We've got the Buddha assistance, the Buddha carry escorting us to bring it back. Wait, this is like 5 FPS right now. What is going on? It's so laggy. It's an actual slideshow. This is crazy. It's time to slow down a lot. Please! If we don't get this heart after all of this, I'm going to be so mad. But it'd be just, it's just my luck if we don't get this heart. Come on. No! What are you doing? Stop! They're bamboozling us. They're actually trying to bamboozle us. Oh, no. It's actually broken. We're in Tiki and nothing's happening. Stop! You're gonna break our game. There's actually no way. Give me my heart, please. Are you serious? What the heck, man? Nine hours. I'm t I, I can't believe it. I actually can't believe it. All right, well, let's see. Is this the right guy? I don't think it is, right? Oh, of course I'm lost. All right, here we go. Here we go. I found it. No, I haven't. Where is it? No, no, I found it now. For real this time. What? No, no, no. This time for real, I found it. Yeah. All right, let's see. Please, Leviathan shield. Oh, thank God we grinded materials beforehand. I got the fool's gold. I got this. Got the scales. Got the mirror shard. It's time. Craft. Crafted Leviathan shield. There it is. Yes. 
look at it. It's actually so cool. Now I have like extra defense and whatever else it gives. I've got extra. But with this, it means I can do this. I have managed to get every single accessory that I can get in Bloxverse.